So I'm not disappointed often, but I have to say I'm really not crazy about this bag. I have very little expectations that this is gonna fit. <laughs> Hello friends, in today's video, we are doing a Walmart new arrivals unboxing part two. We've already gone ahead and posted part one. My sweatshirt that I'm wearing actually went in that video. So if you missed it, I will link it below in the description box. But we are doing new spring themed videos to welcome the new season all week long. So be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you're interested in anything that I share today, we're gonna have sizing information and all that links in the description box. So let's get into it. All right, I'm gonna start with these boxes over here. And I would love to know below in the comments if you guys have already had your spring break. Is your spring break this week? I kind of thought spring break was last week, but the kids in my neighborhood are out in full force, living it up. So y'all let me know. All right, so in this first box, I am seeing green. This is a top from Scoop, as well as a pair of cargo pants from Scoop. I've actually already shown these cargo pants in the light beige color. And I didn't initially order these pants because online the photography did make them look a little bit ill-fitting, but once I got them in, I ordered them in every color. They are so good. They're lightweight, they're cargo style. You do have the elastic at the waist. You do have belt loops. It has pockets, of course, the button cargo pocket on the side, and they are a wide leg style. I really like the green color on this, but these pants are so lightweight, you're gonna be glad you have them as soon as it gets warm. Now, these do run a little bit big. I find that a lot of scoop items do, so I actually have these in an extra small, and my mom ordered the same pants. She also sized one down. And then when I was ordering the pants, I did see that Scoop had this top in the same color. My favorite way to wear color is a full monochromatic look. I really commit to the bit. And I think this is such a pretty top. It's a crystal embellished top that the bodice of it is double lined. So this part is not gonna be see-through, but the sleeves are the sheer mesh that is see-through. I also like that this top is not gonna be too cropped. It's gonna probably hit a little bit below my waistline. And I think that these pieces together are gonna make a fun outfit with the more utility look of the pant, the more feminine look of the top. Scoop also did this in a matching skirt, so it has that same crystal embellishment. It comes in a few other colors and it's more of that slip style. Would be perfect for Easter, Mother's Day, any upcoming event. The top that I have here is $24 and the cargo pants. 28 and I can already tell what's in this next box. These are the Madden NYC bling slides I picked these up because I get them every year. They're always my favorite They come out in black as well as light pink But this year unless they've dropped another one which they might have this year I noticed that it was a flat sandal version as opposed to a pull slide so I'm interested to see how this fits. Okay, these are a little different from what I expected, but they're really fun. So you do have this bedazzled upper that does have a black background. It has kind of almost like a neoprene sort of feeling to the inside of these. And I do like that the crystals on here are individually placed. So if one falls off, it's not taking the whole shoe with it. But the part that I wasn't expecting is the footbed. It actually has a really nice cushion. Now it's not gonna have so much support that I would walk around all day in these, but it's not a completely flat footbed either. There is some cushion there. So let me throw these on and I'll tell you guys how they fit. These do come in whole sizes only. I did get it in my typical size nine. Okay, so I just tried these on. I have wide feet and they felt a little small, but not so much so that I would size up in these. So I would just get them in your typical size, but I think they are a fun little pop of sparkle for a summer outfit. And speaking of slides, I know that's what I have in this bag. I have these just delivered from store. These are from Time and True. They also do this slide version every year and I've actually already showed these this season in the Natural Stripe Raffia, so it's under the same link. These do come in whole as well as half sizes. Since I already have them, I know that my regular size works. So this pair right here is the brown woven. This is gonna go with so many outfits. It's just an easy slip-on slide style. And then I also got it in the metallic, which online, this looked silver. In person, it looks like a really pretty pale gold. I believe this is also available in a black and maybe one other color. The best part though is these are $13. All right, let's see what's in this bag here. Okay, we're switching gears from slides to trench coats. So this trench coat is from Free Assembly and I actually saw it in person 
when I was in New York. They did show it on the models. What I really liked about it was the two-tone color in the chino. I just think it looks like an updated classic. Like you're having a little bit of fun with your trench coat. This is not gonna be a super long trench, which is really nice, I feel like, for this time of year. It does also have these fun slit pockets that have this kind of sideways pocket detail. You do have the matching fabric belt. And I picked this up in a small. I'll go ahead and throw it on. It definitely has more of a mid-weight. So if you're familiar with the Amazon trench that I show a lot, this one is gonna be a heavier cotton. It has a really nice feel to it. I'm gonna leave this unbuttoned so I don't cover my mic, but you would be able to button it up like so. You can wear it open, has that fabric belt. It is hitting me a little bit lower than I thought, but I quite like the length on this. And if you live somewhere where you need a spring coat or a trench is your go-to, I do think this is a special one. It definitely is a modern take on that khaki trench. So in here, I do have this new Love & Sports set. This came in several good options if I remember correctly, but I went with the white and very trendy green because it did have this fun pickleball logo, which if you guys play pickleball, let me know below in the comments. But the top here is a lightweight sweatshirt. It's fleece lined, but very lightly. This is a pretty lightweight sweatshirt in general. It does have more of a cropped look, a drop sleeve, and then there is a little matching short. Online, it did look like it's gonna have more of that dolphin gym short look, and it does. Has that same green logo that says Love and Sports with the little pickleballs, and it does have elastic in the waist and a draw cord. And it also has pockets. Both pieces are 100% cotton, and the top was $22, the bottoms are 18. It does come in a couple of other color options. And then I also picked up the matching workout tank from Love & Sports. I've ordered these last year and really loved them. The best part is the built-in bra. A lot of inexpensive workout tops, the built-in bra can kind of flip or move, but I find the Love & Sports ones to be pretty good. This tank's also available in black. It does have more of a racer back with adjustable straps. It does have more of a higher neckline. This top is $20. And I do find that these run a little bit small, especially if you're busty, so I did go ahead Head and size up to a medium in this one and it's $20 and then also in here I do have these chino pants from free assembly I hope these work because if they do they are gonna be an awesome basic that you can make so many outfits with it does have this heavy pleat in the front you have belt loops tortoise buttons it does also have pockets in the front and more of that suit pocket in the back these are number sizing so i did pick these up in a four and they are calling this color white asparagus i think these are available in a navy and maybe one other color it's 98% cotton, which is great. We've been talking a lot about natural fibers, but it is really important, especially as it starts to heat up. But it also is 2% spandex, which we do not see that very often from free assembly. So I'm interested to see how these fit. It also says online that these have a 31 inch inseam, which I hope they're not lying because then this is gonna be great for my taller girls and they are a wide leg style if I didn't mention that. Oh, and I was so excited about the inseam on those pants. I don't think I mentioned that they are a wide leg style. And then here I do have another pair of the Scoop Distressed Denim Shorts. I did show these in a medium wash in my part one to this unboxing. And like I mentioned in that video, depending on which color you go with is where the distressing will fall. The distressing is different on all three pairs. So this one you do have distressing more to the side and then you do have a frayed bottom with that kind of deconstructed look. You also have distressing on the back pockets. I picked these up in a size four and my other ones fit great, so I'm assuming these will be the same. They have some good stretch to it, and these are $22. Okay, finally, we're getting into a bag. I see a natural tote from Time and True in here. So this tote is black and natural. It has a really pretty stripe, and then it also has this little gold seashell medallion in the front. This is so much prettier in person than it looks online. And this is a huge tote in my opinion. It's a 17 by 17. When I read that on the listing, I thought they were mistaken because the photography really makes it look like it's a rectangle, but this is definitely a square. I mean, I really am so impressed with the way this bag looks. I would wear it on my shoulder. It has this fun fringe. And what we have going on on the inside of the bag, it is lined, which I feel like we almost never get in natural bags. It does have this little snap button closure, and then you do have one 
slip pocket here. This is a really nice size beach bag. You could put a towel in here, maybe a change of clothes, your Kendall, and it just looks a little bit more elevated than your everyday nylon beach tote. And these next pair of pants could really go either way. I almost didn't order them, but when I see a light color jean on walmart.com, I have to try it out. It, it could honestly go either way though. So this is not an optic white jean. It definitely has a creamier kind of off-white look. And then it does have this contrasting stitch in brown, which I do quite like. And I'm thinking these jeans are gonna have kind of a boot cut flare look to them. Something that does make them a little bit more special too, is they do have this side slit detail here at the bottom, which we see in a lot more expensive denim. The reason why I'm on the fence about these is online, they looked super tight. I don't know, I probably would go ahead and size one up in these, but I did get them in my regular size four to test them out. But I don't typically like my jeans to be skin tight. We'll see how these go. And then to finish off this box, I do have this top from Sophia, which I was really excited to see that my favorite Sophia dress probably ever, that little side slit dress that I have shown now for a couple of seasons in a row, that they went ahead and gave us the peplum shirt version in this year's springy summer pattern. So I did go with the green, but it comes in that same really fun berry if you were a fan of the dress. And it might also come in one other color if I remember correctly. So this top is a V-neck style. It does have this nice wide band that actually in the back is smocked with this elastic. So I think it's gonna have a really nice fit. It also has that little peplum detail and it is a long sleeve style, but the sleeve is sheer, which I think is really nice for this time of year. You do have that elastic at the wrist, but the bodice is lined. So you don't have to worry about this being see-through. I think this is such a universally flattering style that looks good on everyone, just like the dress. Online, they're showing this paired with jeans, but I would wear this with white pants, you could throw it on with white shorts, but also a great time to get a skirt out. I think it's the top that you can do a lot with. It's just a really good citron color. And even though this is a new link, this top is already on sale. I have no idea for how long, but it's $17 right now, I think in all the color options. Okay, if you missed the crochet bag last year, now is your chance. They brought it back from No Boundaries. This does come in a couple of fun colorways under the same link. There's a smiley face one. There's a really cute checkered print with a strawberry, but I have truly never met a granny square that I didn't love. So I had to pick this one up. So the strap on this isn't adjustable. It's just gonna hang. It is that really fun hobo style. It's not lined. It's just one large open compartment. I think this is just a fun style. I would like this even as a little shopper bag. You could wear this as a festival bag and it's under $20. And then also in here, I see I have a new swimsuit from Sophia. She did drop a whole swimsuit line, which is new for this year and I just loved this bright, it's almost like an orange red. Let's see what she's calling it. She is calling this red. It is her monokini, and I wasn't sure how the sizing would be on this. So some of the Sophia swimsuits I ordered in mediums and some of them I got in smalls. This one here is a medium. It does have adjustable straps. It also has a clasp in the back to get in and out. It looks like it has built-in bra cups, it does, but the bra cups on this are removable and you do have the cutout detail obviously in the front. It does have an open back and it looks like it's gonna be more of a full coverage bottom. So I'm very interested to see how her sizing is. And then kind of a similar swimsuit that I also had delivered from store is this one from Time and True. So it's gonna be a cutout, but instead of it being on the side like the Sophia, this one is gonna be a cutout in the middle and it's reflected in the back as well. This is a color block style. So it's light pink on the top. It does also have this little keyhole cutout. You have adjustable straps, but you also have a clasp to get in and out. And then it's this fun orange color on the bottom. It does look like it has a full bottom and it only comes in this colorway. Also, I'm expecting the cutout to not be very drastic. All of the photos online show it as being pretty, like a pretty minimal cutout, I would say. So interested to see how this fits. And it does also have removable cups. I ordered this in a small, which time and true this swim season, it really depends on the swimsuit if I'm a small or a medium. So I will flash that up on the screen, but I actually got this to go with the 
cutest swimsuit cover up. So I'm hoping that matches and I'm also hoping it's in this order. Okay, and then to finish off this box, I do have this necklace from Time and True. I get asked a lot about the heart necklace that I wear. This one is from Anthropology from Uncommon James. So as soon as I saw this $6 one, I was hoping it would give the look and it definitely does. So it has this white enamel heart. It's a good color gold too. Sometimes the Walmart jewelry goes what I'm gonna kindly refer to as old man gold. This is a good gold. And it does have a really good extender, at least a couple of inches. It has a nice clasp. Let's just go ahead and throw it on. So it's a little bit bigger than my original heart necklace, but I love it. It looks really similar in my opinion, $6. I love it, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it on. And let's see what's in these boxes. Yes, okay, I do have some denim shoes and a denim bag in here. Both are from Madden NYC. So I'll start first with the shoes. These are the very popular dad sandal. We are seeing pretty much everyone do their take on the dad sandals. So I was happy to see them in denim at Walmart. You guys have heard me talk a lot about denim, but it truly is everywhere in accessories right now. These do also come in black. So you do have Velcro on the side for an easy in and out. And then these look like they are buckles, but they are yet again, Velcro. So if this is a style that you like, Madden NYC has them. These are available in whole sizes only. I did get these in a nine. So comfortable, I do see why they're a thing. So I'm not disappointed often, but I have to say I'm really not crazy about this bag. I think it just, it looks like there's a lot going on. So it's this light wash denim bag from Madden NYC. You do have this thicker denim kind of camera strap style that is adjustable. Not really crazy about this strap at all. Also, I'm not really sure why, but I feel like Madden NYC really piles on on the front of their bags. So actually how I would wear this bag and how I would like it is flipped around without the logo, just wearing it top handle, or you might even be able to put this under your arm with just the gold strap. I do quite like the little charm, the denim matching charm. You can take this off though if you don't like it. And then on the inside here, it's one large open compartment and then you do have one zipper pocket. It does also have this white trim that I do think looks quite nice. I did show in my last Walmart unboxing a denim cargo bag that I think I prefer. However, that bag is very casual. So if you're needing something that does look a little bit dressier, again, flipped this way with just the gold chain, this bag does fit the bill better for that. Okay, and then also in here, I have more Love & Sports. This is similar to the cami tank that I showed earlier, but it's a high neck racer back version. So it has that great built-in bra. This one does have a rib detail and I got it to match these shorts that are navy, but the trim is the same color as the tank top. So these are a very lightweight athletic short. You do have elastic at the waist have the matching draw cord. You have that mesh on the side and these do have built-in underwear. Oh, I didn't even see. It does have a zip pocket here in the front. These shorts are $18. The tank is 20. They're available in a couple of different color combos if I remember correctly. So I recognize this top. If you watched my last unboxing, then you might recognize it too. This is the hot pink of the gauzy shirt that I had on in that video. I quite liked it in the lavender that I wore yesterday, but this is one that I would want in every single color. It's selling out really quickly. So I'm grabbing whatever colors I can get my hands on online. This is a style you can try to get in store as well, but it's a button down collared. It is gauzy, lightweight, just absolutely dreamy for the hot weather. And you can wear this with a tank top underneath. You can wear it buttoned up, tied up over a swimsuit. It is going to probably be my most worn top this summer. It actually reminds me a lot of the airy pool to party tops that I think are 40 or $50. This one from Walmart is 17. And I do like these to be extra breezy and oversized. So I personally size one up in these, but they do fit true to size. Okay, so I am seeing some color in this box. First up is this dress from Sophia. I picked this up in blue and orange, so I'm not sure if the orange is in today's video, but I thought both were such good colors that I did want to try them out. And this dress is a high neck tank style. It doesn't go in too much in the back, so I think I'm gonna be able to get away with a regular bra. It's kind of like a faux wrap here in the front, which I think is what's gonna make the dress really flattering. And then it does also have this little 
tiered almost ruffle at the bottom and this does have a side slit but it's not too high i'm probably gonna sound 100 but sometimes the walmart dresses the side slit is a little too high for me personally so i think this is gonna be a good one and on the back i'm seeing it has kind of this ruffle panel so i'm interested to see how that lays this dress is under 25 dollars, and i definitely see this as a style that you could dress up or down and then the rest of what i have in here are some really good basics from sophia I'm noticing that Walmart from pretty much all of their lines are giving you those core basics that you need in your wardrobe from fitted tank tops to the perfect white t-shirt. So I'm excited to see so much of this. I have two different t-shirt styles from Sophia. The first one is going to be that boxier, looser crop style t-shirt. And the fabric does have kind of this heathered look to it. It's very thin, really lightweight, which again is gonna be perfect for the heat. So I did pick it up in this chocolate brown color. I bought deep on this one, I'm expecting to like it. So I got it in black and I also got it in white as well. It's already very well priced at $8, but I did see they are giving us some big savings online at $7. It's a good price either way but here is the white one. And then Sophia also did a little bit more of a fitted version. So I did pick this one up in pink. So I was not expecting the fabric to have this type of weight to it. I was thinking that this would be more similar to the Scoop Baby Tees, but this is a very thick t-shirt. Think more of a compression shirt. It would probably be great if you wanted to wear this in an office or to an event that was a little bit nicer. And it doesn't look like it's gonna be too cropped. It's probably gonna skim the waistline, but I picked this up in a small and I'm expecting this to be pretty tight. And I did get the same top also in white. I think it might come in a couple of other options and these are $10. Okay, in our last box, people, we made it. Although this one does feel like a heavy one. Oh, I'm seeing some zebra print. Okay, I'm actually seeing multiple zebra print. So let's talk about these swimsuits first. Wow, I'm so excited about these swimsuits. Let's start with the one piece first. So this one is from Sophia. And if somebody just put this swimsuit in front of me with no tags, I would think this was a designer swimsuit. It looks really nice, so I hope I love it on. So the top is more of a bustier style. The whole swimsuit is lined, but you don't have cups of any kind. The straps on this are adjustable, but you do also have a clasp in the back. And it does have a cutout in the back. The back on this does look pretty cheeky. So we are gonna see how this fits. And on the tag, it does say it has 360 shaping and smoothing. So this I'm expecting to fit like a shapewear tight swimsuit. I did pick this one up in a medium and I'm expecting it to fit pretty similar to this other Sophia swimsuit that I got. I hope I did good on my sizing cause these are very pretty swimsuits. So this is in the color terracotta. It has this really pretty metal detail. It is a strapless style, but it does come with straps. And this one does have sewn in cups. It does have that same cutout in the back and also looks very cheeky. And then the bikini from No Boundaries is so pretty. So it's zebra print, but it's a glitter zebra print. Ooh, that's fun. That looks tiny though. I really, I have very little expectations that this is gonna fit. I ordered this in a medium, but I'm not even sure that a large would work. I'm gonna try it though. Do you see what I do for you guys on YouTube? We'll see if this works. But it does have adjustable straps. I don't even know what to call this type of a swimsuit top where it goes up in the middle, but we're seeing this in a lot of very expensive swimsuits. And oh, it does also have underwire. And I got this in a medium. Okay, anyways and it is $16 and the bottoms are a little string bottom and that same zebra print. <laughs> oh wait, no, we can pull the bottom out more. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. It is listed though on the tag as cheeky. We'll see if this makes it into the video. But what I know is going to fit is my cover up from Time and True. This is the one that I talked about earlier, pairing it back with the Time and True swimsuit. I think this is the perfect bubblegum pink color. And it's a longer style cover up in general. You do have side slits and it does have this tie back detail with a tassel. I picked this up in a size small, but it's forgiving in size and it's under $25. Okay, I can't even get to the item because my mom has already grabbed it from me out of frame. So that's how I know that it's a winner. She loves this. So this is a hoodie from Time and True. It's not fleece lined, it's lightweight. So it's gonna be perfect for this time of year. So it has a V neckline and it has 
has all these exposed seams. It also has this side panel. It reminds me a lot of a style that you would see from Aerie. I did pick this up in the blue as well as the purple, both in size smalls. Just first impressions, I wish I would have sized at least one up in these to make them more oversized, but I think this is gonna be great thrown on with a pair of shorts. Put this on with your yoga pants, your jeans. It is really just easy styling. I think these are a pretty good buy at under $15 and they do come in a couple of other colors. And last thing, if you've been following me over on Instagram, you know I am obsessed with butter, pale yellow right now. So I will go ahead and make today's secret emoji be the butter emoji. So leave that for me below in the comments so I know you stuck it out with me this long, but I did order from Scoop these yellow, funky and fabulous heels of my dream. I hope they're comfortable because they are a four inch heel. This is not for the faint of heart, but it does have a platform and the footbed feels pretty good. So I'm thinking and hoping that these are gonna be comfy. It is an open back mule. The whole front pretty much is covered, but they are open toe. And they also have this really cool sculptural heel that again, we're seeing in a lot of high-end shoes. And they also come in a metallic pink. But I think this buttery color is almost like a neutral. I think it's very wearable, especially with denim. Okay, I'm living my best 70s life in these. They are very comfortable, especially for a heel this high. And it's that nice block heel and the platform is 100% helping. But I would wear these with a cropped trouser, wear them with a flare pant. These are good. These do come in whole as well as half sizes and they're under $35. So that does wrap up today's Walmart new arrivals video. I would love to know what your favorite item is below in the comments. Comments. And if you're interested in anything that we've shared, it'll be linked over in the description box as well as over on the pinned comment. And if you love spring, you're in the mood for all the spring things, be sure to hit the subscribe button because there are more videos headed your way. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see y'all in the next one.